Hey, what's up? This is Chris with WooCurve, and I want to give you a demo of Handsome Checkout. And during this video, I'm going to walk you through all the different ways that you can use Handsome Checkout from creating an individual checkout page to using Handsome Checkout as your default checkout page for all your products. So use it as, uh, as a checkout page for one product or for all products. And I'm also going to show you how to embed checkout forms on any WordPress page with our uh, short code option inside of Handsome Checkout. So we're going to dive in here and I'm here inside of one of our test sites and I've got a couple things that I've already set up ahead of time just to, to make it go a little faster, but I, I do want to show you the, the process um, from scratch and, and we'll kind of jump back and forth. So. Um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to pull up a link, a checkout page, just so you can see the end first. So this is a checkout page that we've created with the, the hoodie with the zipper. And you can see we're capturing all this info here. We've got an option here to change the quantity, order details, and we've got an order bump right there. So. Uh, we're gonna sh we're gonna walk through how this page gets created, and uh, it's right here, so we can go into edit. But I do want to show you first just the process when you go to create a new checkout page. Obviously, you'll put your title in here, and then you've got two options. So either you can create a checkout page, or you can create an embedded checkout form. And the option that I just showed you is a checkout page, and we'll look at the embedded forms here in just a second. So let me go back out and we're going to open up this hoodie with zipper page. So I'm just going to go into edit and this is going to be just your, your standard, uh, handsome checkout, uh, builder template. So the first thing we want to do and we're creating a page for a specific product. So we're going to enter that product in right here. This pulls directly from your WooCommerce store. We're going to give the, uh, product a title. And we're going to give it a description, put the image in. Now, I do have the order bump enabled that you saw before, and I could uh, disable that if I wanted to. And again, this just pulls directly from WooCommerce. And then I have variations in quantity enabled, and that is uh, what this is right here. So you can see that I gave it a title of save even more, which that's completely, um, you can edit that. By default, we put in item price and then I put in most popular and that corresponds to here. So item price most popular is what I have for the highlighted text. And then here is where I'm selecting which row I want to be highlighted. And then I also have this selected by default so that when somebody comes to the checkout page, I've automatically got uh, two, of, uh, two, two hoodie with zippers um, selected for them. And if they want to change that, then it's as simple as clicking that and you see the, the price changes here, which is one of the reasons we show the order detail. But even that is optional, as I'll show you in a second. And on this, uh, the other thing that I would show you is that we can also do variations or you can do quantity and variations in that section of the checkout page. I don't have any variations on this product, but uh, these are options as well for you. And then if we come down, you can see the different templates that we have. So right now we're using one called the minimalist. And I mean, just to show you how easy it is to, to test a new design, if I want to switch to marketing pro and I click update, uh, it's going to think for a second. And then when I come back here and click refresh, you'll see that this is a new template. This is the marketing pro template. If I wanted to switch it to uh, the two step template. So I want to kind of break that process up of checking out, then I go that, go here, I refresh, and then look, I've got a completely new checkout page. I can go to the next option here, and then finally enter in my credit card details. So just wanted to show you how easy and simple it is to, um, to make changes to your checkout page using any of our templates. So uh, coming further down, here's where you can update the colors of the template we have. Here's where you select the different fields you want to show. And here's that order details that I mentioned before. So if you did not want to display that, you just uncheck that. Um, and 
shipping, billing, this corresponds to the different sections on the template that, that we were looking at. In the multi-step option, we've got, uh, if we go back here, you can see um, this button where it says next. Uh, this option shows up if you're using a multi-step only. But if I wanted to say, you know, next step, then I could just come in here, change that, make an update, and then do a refresh. And this button here is going to change to say next step. And very, very simple to make that change. I'm actually going to switch this back to minimalist. That's one of our uh, best performing themes. Okay, so if we come down a little bit further, here we are. Uh, this is the checkout button. So if you want to say order today or buy today or place order, um, you can make that say whatever you want. And here is where you would put in your marketplace logo, which is your, your business, your store logo. You can choose the alignment. And then we give you options for bullet points and you can add or remove those as you want. And testimonials make it incredibly easy for you to showcase testimonials for your brand, for your store, for the product itself directly on the checkout page. And this is a huge uh, conversion boosting strategy, which if you're not including testimonials on your checkout page, uh, do it and you will watch your sales go up and we make it really easy right here. And you can add more than one. And then this is the trust point section. And we fill these in automatically for you just by clicking this button. And this is what it looks like, uh, listing guarantees and privacy. And these are all things that you can edit or if you just wanna show one, you can remove them by clicking this trash can here. And then lastly, we give you the option to do custom CSS to the checkout page as well as custom JavaScript. So this is a uh, kind of a, an overview of the back end of Handsome Checkout and how you go about creating a page. And this is going to be very similar to any of the, the, the pages that you do. And even when we get to the embed form, you'll see how it's, it's very similar to this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and refresh that, just get us back to the minimalist. And the other thing that you can do, so this is a checkout page tied to this product. Now I could either create a sales page and use this link right here and link directly to this checkout page from a button. But if I wanted to link to this from my actual store, then we also give you an add on that's called skip cart. And what skip cart allows you to do is just set up skip rules basically that uh, instead of using add to cart, you can change that to a direct buy button and you can, you can change it to say buy now, whatever you want. And it skips directly from your store, your product page to the checkout page for this individual product. So there's the, there's the option to use it however you want. Um, and, and skip card is, a, is an add on, like I said, that we give to handsome checkout users. So, uh, the other thing I want to show you is the default checkout page. So we just created a page for a product. Now, what if you want to use one of our templates for, uh, for every product in your store? Well, we have one specifically designed for showcasing multiple products and I've got one created ahead of time and I just want to show you, um, how that works. So this is just called store checkout template. And then we put do not edit. Uh, so nobody on our team edits this and the, the process is the same that I just showed you. The only difference is, is that you'll leave this product section blank because it's automatically going to pull in whatever product is in your customer's cart. And the template that we recommend for this is the multi-product template. And this was built specifically to showcase multiple products uh, on the checkout page. And you still have the same options as before with variations in quantity, with order bump. And um, this is a multi-step uh, multi template. So let me just show you real quick what this looks like. And so once this is set up, it's, uh, it's in place. You can see we've got a couple things in our cart already. And if I go to the next step, then I can enter in my credit card information and I can even add a, um, an item through the order bump here. So 
makes it really, really simple to do. And so once you've created this page here, um, get back to it. So once you've created this template and you want to use it as your default checkout page template, then I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, we've got this template. Remember, it's called store checkout template. And we're going to go into the settings of Handsome Checkout. And it's already set up, but usually uh, if you're just doing this for the first time, what you would see is uh, this option, do not replace, will be here. Just check by default. And what you can do is you can go in and it's automatically going to look for your Handsome Checkout templates. And remember, this is one we created that doesn't have any product associated with it. So I'm just going to select that. And then I would click Save Changes. And uh, now if you go through our test store and you add a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of products to your cart and you go to checkout, uh, this is the page that is going to show up for every customer who comes through and you can choose the order bump to display uh, for all customers and then you've kind of got your testimonials, your money back guarantee information, your trust point and your bullet points right here. So uh, that is the process for creating a template for your default checkout page and then actually applying that template to your WooCommerce stores. You can see how easy that was to do. Now the last thing I want to show you is uh, the option to do embedded checkout forms. And this, this is a really cool feature that you're not going to find anywhere else. And let me just show you. Uh, so if you remember in the very beginning when I went to create a new checkout page, I had the option to make a uh, uh, just a checkout page or an embedded form. And I've already got one. I've got several that I've got live here in test mode. So I'm going to go into this test demo five and just show you the layout. So it's very similar to uh, what we just went through uh, with the uh, with the regular kind of process for creating a handsome checkout page. So we tie it to a product. We uh, can make it one step or two step. We can show placeholders or labels in placeholders. And I'll show you the difference here in just a second. We can do an order bump. And then the other cool thing is that you can still change the color of your uh, of your checkout form that's embedded on the page. So if you need, if it needs to match a certain look or brand that you're going for, you can do that right here. And then this is all very familiar to what we just looked at. So here are uh, here are the fields that you can choose to show, order details, and then all these other options that are the same. So you can see a few things are missing, uh, and that's because the goal of this embedded checkout form is to make a, a streamline. Uh, process for people who want to uh, check out on on any page and you can turn basically any WordPress page into a sales page so let me show you uh, what that looks like and I'm gonna open this in a new tab close out a couple of these and I think I need yeah here we go so I'm just gonna open up this the same page and you can see right here uh, this is the embedded checkout form this is just kind of what it looks like out of the box and if I go to next step then here's the order details here are my payment options and here is my order bump still here and you can see that uh, it changes the price accordingly and then I can order today so um, this is done I'm using thrive themes but you can use any page builder and the way this works is simply we give you a short code for this uh, this checkout form and you just embed that on any WordPress page and this form here is going to show up for you. Now we've got it in a two-step mode and we've got it in two columns, but if I opened up this editor, I could easily drag this down below and it would take up the space in one column. And if I wanted to change the color, very easy to do that here in background color, text color. Uh, I do wanna show you the difference here in placeholders and labels and placeholders. So. Uh, I'm going to make this change very quickly and I'm going to publish that. So I just made that change. I'm going to go back. I'm going to refresh this and you can see now that we have a label in addition to a placeholder. So a placeholder is the text written inside the field and a label is having 
that same text above it. So completely up to you. Uh, the Just showing placeholders makes it a little uh, more streamlined, uh, not as long of a form, but uh, it's completely up to you and what you want to do with that. So uh, the other thing to point out is, you know, we've got shipping and billing. So if I want to make changes to that, make that right there. And then of course, next step, which I already showed you before, and then order today, we can change that. So this is, uh, this is how you set up the embedded form and then actually put it on your WordPress page. So we just covered how to create a checkout page for a specific product uh, and use skip card if we want the option to uh, direct the uh, direct our customer to that page from our store or uh, or not. So we have the option to do either or. Uh, we also talked about using the multi-product template and how to go into Handsome Checkout settings and, and replace the default WooCommerce checkout page with one of our templates inside of Handsome Checkout. And then the last thing we talked about is using the option to do embedded forms, which uh, is what we just went through here. And again, this is using a two column layout, but this could easily be uh, a one column and you can make this a one step or a two step and you, you've seen the options that you have inside of Handsome Checkout to be able to quickly make changes to your checkout form without having to, to do a whole bunch of code or anything like that. So I, I hope this demo was really helpful for you to, to show you just what's possible. Uh, and you know, I can tell you that we, we have other things that we're working on to, to make this product even better and just continue to uh, create products that make WooCommerce uh, more valuable for you and also give you increased conversions and more sales. And um, so if you have any questions uh, about this, you can reach out to us at uh, support at WooCurve.com and uh, we look forward to seeing what you can create and achieve with Handsome Checkout. So thanks so much.